Get a quick pick off on the enemy Genji. Not the case, but a lot of damage being taken by Soul here. You can see the Jake's not being threatened from this position. Elixir cleans up Kuki as he tries to jump to safety. And, and you see how much damage this Hanzo can put down. It gets Kuki very weak as he's trying to jump out and take out Jaehong as well. Two picks early from Linkser, but a lot of that is set up by Jake. And that should be it. Houston now trying to control the point. Munchkin is forced to wrap back around to the rest of his team. It looks like Soul are giving this one up for lost. There's nothing they could do. Two picks, and that's enough for the Outlaws to start this match off. In this situation, he's used that tactical visor, but there's still more to work to be done. Two picks on the point already for the Houston Outlaws. It's a slow roll fight, but so far it's going well. This Dragon Blade needs to be the answer for Wakee to try and break them out of this situation. Jay oh, just gets it. He just books it straight down the stairs as Wakee tries to chase him with the Dragon Blade, and the sharp edge is dulled. Rough stuff for Wiki, who can't connect, can't find any purchase on Houston Outlaws. And now Kuki drops onto the point, down to about 10% HP. It's Munchkin now to stand up, forced to recall. Toby, as soon as he walks out of spawn, takes a lot of damage. Orb of Discord now applied, Defense Matrix being hastily employed to keep Toby alive, but eventually it is exhausted. Now Jake, Bardic Field drop down, Zumba D suited, and Wiki very low HP as he tries to head to the front door. Jay Hong picks off Linkser from long range, this could be it. Soul could break this back, and they may have just done so. Yeah, the thing that ends up hurting every single time and this would be no exception kooky gonna jump in now primer rage once again he's farmed it beautifully now he'll back away but the job is done Moomer's down he's traded though a one for one situation but Cormac's mech having been removed and him being down means that houston have to run at the point with very little to work with they're gonna be cut down and they won't go out with a roar it'll just be the whimper the outlaws couldn't set up properly for an attack and they'll have to be happy with two ticks on the last point the rest of Soul wasting very little time in coming forward. Oh, they caught Boomer out. That's not the start. The Outlaws are looking for it all. Jake's in big trouble now. Orb of Harmony on, on him. He's forced to back away while reflecting, but Zumba just keeps getting damage done. That's a big re D suit on Cormat. Man, the Outlaws are getting completely washed aside here. There's really not much they can do, losing one after another. And Zumba's body blocking. Notice that he didn't have defense matrix left, so he just stood in front of Jay Hong to keep him alive. That's a really fast push there from Soul Dynasty. All started with that early pick off on Mooma. As soon as Mooma drops, there's nothing really Houston can do. You notice, you know, as soon as they drop, Mooma, j Hong was trying to provide. Raucus is very close to his own transcendence, so we keep maybe back, but it may not be enough for the Soul Dynasty, and Cormat wants the chase. Now we're just a bunny blaster. He does extend quite deeply, but it may have been enough to buy the time for the Houston Outlaws to hold out a bit longer. Jake now has got his tracer rather well. As I say that, he misses a blink through a window and he gets knocked down. That's what key dropping early. That's gonna force Toby to potentially go for a rest because he's got that tactical visor. You need to combo that potentially with that transcendence. Huge buy and eight now. When things are starting to soul out a little bit more for Soul Dynasty here. Jay Hong's Jay Hong's fallen. fallen. That's big. Which he can't use his tactical visor. Moomer takes him down in primal rage. And this might be it. He gets Toby as well. Moomer and Cormat stepping up in a big way. The desk said to look out for Moomer, and it could be the game changer. And my god, he's done it again. He leaps on top of Kuki, removes him from the match, and that will be it. Soul are not going to be able to finish the map in Houston. Jay Hong there provides the transcendence, and it may have done the job for the time being. At least plug some of the gaps in the setup for the Soul Dynasty. Jay Hong trying to avoid Mumi here, trying to get some safety. Nah, no way going to get away with that one. Raucus cuts him down, sees his opposite number across the field, and makes a beeline. Yes, Houston should be able to take this point back. You see the, the cleanup kills here. There, there's the point. Yeah. Got it this time though. The tactical visor coming out from Wikid though. He may not even be needed in the first place though, because Jake was cut down by Munchkin at the very start of the fight. And all that effort that Linkser went to to try and get in a flanking Stay position map has gone to waste. He knows he has to throw himself at this one, and this round might as well be over. Linkser had no choice but to try and challenge out. That should be it. The Soul Dynasty, a very strong showing so far here on Nepal. Uh, that's the better of a lot of these other Widowmakers as Jake gets pulled on in by Zumba. It'll be an early pick there from Soul, and that's huge, right? That's a ton of damage that's coming that's down. Ballsy. They're going to get the res, but it's going to be Munchkin who gets a better links on the other side, and then Jaehong takes Boink out right after the res comes through. Now Moomin presses forward, transcendence is answered. Kuki's head just gets bashed in, of course. And Moomin now stands tall on the point. Headshots galore. You're actually hitting very hard if you can get consistent headlocks with the headshots with this Orisa. And Lynx is chiming in with starting to play close up. But he goes too far. Over-aggression there seems to be his downfall. Moomin's uh -oh. getting pushed off the edge. There's no way coming back from that one. He attempted a halt to try and bring some of Soul with him, but it wasn't going to work. And now that Soul have taken all of that space in the enclosed area, they're able to heal up Zumba, who just comes forward now with the hook, causes some problems. Lynx have found Jay Hong, but Wiki's going to come up on him now, and Doormat is going to get taken down by the 
grab gun. Lovely prediction from Zumba. Knew there'd be a mini diva popping out of the mech, and he kept Wakid alive by removing the bunny rim play. Raucus has to face up front now on that tracer pick. Rip tire into claim point. The Mercy's down. Soul Dynasty so close to taking this one away. Cormat now has to dip his toe in the water. Elixir appears on the Doofus. Everyone's getting knocked around. It's a rocket sock him, but it won't be enough. Matsu, Soul Dynasty. Higher up at the end but it looks like uh, you're not going to be able to get that timing and see how far back Soul is pushing. He gets two with the rip tire. That's huge. They push so far off of the point and you get two with that rip tire. That's massive. They just won the point for one rip tire, Matt. That's all they needed to do. Not only did the rip tire force Soul Dynasty to disengage so far back that they wouldn't be able to run to the point in time, Farmer cutting through, leaves it with 98%. That's a great little placement from that self-destruct. Links will fall to that one. The shield was turned away for Muma. But Jake gets two. Jake really making the difference. It's like, how? How? Did the Outlaws ever think the switching off of it would be a good idea in the past? They're getting so much value out of Jake right now. It's such a devastating hero to go up against. I mean, you see he's already at another rip tire. What's a big kill on to Linkser because he was getting very close to the Graviton Surge. Gonna use that rip tire right on top. He's gonna take out Kobe. Get a D-Mech on to Zumba. Gets him weak. Uh, it'll be Munchkin actually playing that D.Va. He gets him. And now it's going to be the pin. Lovely stuff. Raucous, it's easy for him to pick up the targets from long range with the Coalescence. Kuki catches Jake, though, with a fire strike. Moomite just had to pause for a moment. Big Graviton in. Three players caught. Now Zumba, very low HP. Shields up at just the right time. But Kuki's looking worse for Warrior himself. Munchkin drops in. Doesn't find any kills thus far. Now he has the challenge without a protective barrier from the Zarya. Wakid is the next. But Defense Matrix stops all the grenades connecting. And at Houston Outlaws, they get much better on this map. The jump crack. We'll just peek around the corner. Riptide might ruin the day. It does. Much good to go up in flames. And <laughs> Linkser can come forward and play it a little bit more. Jake with three kills for the fight. Linkser with the ding set. Zumba taken down. Two minutes at least from that high ground to rain down some grenades. Now, two ticks are going to come up for the Soul Dynasty. The Outlaws have to come forward and stand and deliver, but they've lost Muma and Linkser. Jake surely doesn't get out of this one alive. No, he gets taken down. A swipe of the rocket hammer will claim him. And the Soul Dynasty finally come up with a solution to what has been a very pesky problem. Yeah, the sound barrier helps them sustain on through the line. ground here. Oh, I hear that in the background. It's a rip tire, but not Jake's. It's Wikid's this time. It doesn't even claim the mech of Cormac. Quite have enough damage there, about 400 if I'm not mistaken. So it won't pull that and, and he gets healed up right away because Rockus is using the coalescence from a distance. That's so big. Jake, of course, with two. Found Wikid. Muma. Give me a bit of a tickle over to Munchkin. Luma holds on to this Earth Shatter, and you're going to have a Graviton Surge as well. Early Coalescence. Okay, Kuki's low. This could be something. Here's the Riptide from Wakina. No. Oh, no, it gets two. Sometimes you've got to be fed some of your own medicine, Matt. That's the way life goes. Work and Moomer are down. But Kuki had fallen, so it's 4v5. Jake used his rip tire as well. 4v4. Toby's down. Cormac being removed, and Munchkin gets the suited now. His own self destruct. Links are trying to break line aside, but he didn't manage to do it. He actually popped up into the blast radius, and Zoom is so well charged up right now. It's the right clicks, claiming target after target. There it is. Sold out. Kuki looking for an Earth Shatter or a charge in to set it up. Self-Destruct dropped in, but Zumba had a shield up. That's the Graviton Surge, but only Kuki's going to be caught on it right now. And Boink is just trying to get in position to move people around. Jake's Riptide connects. Kuki's missing. Munchkin de-suited. Now in minute even four minute Graviton Surge is used. But where's the follow-up going to be? It's going to be right there from Wakid and Zumba laying into the Outlaws as they are tied together helplessly. And Soul get the map finish. And going for the back line. Get stopped. Matt was in his way. A lot of damage dealt to the Primer Age Winston. Now Matt comes forward. You can see that, yeah, you know, Mumo there. Does eventually go down. He gets res right up, though. But Cool Matt created the space, yeah, for Banny to be able to get that big resurrect. So that's huge. Munchkin and Jake now zipping in over the points. Dragon Blade for Fetter is going to go for it now. He's down at 28 HP. Can he survive this? Looking for Raucous. He's being pocketed. Hey, give him a kick. Just hit him. Oh, no one can shut it down. 8 HP. Three kills. Okay. He, when he pops the blade, he has like 30 HP. I, we were in that free cam and you can see... Munchkin down. Another big kill from Jake on yeah. Munchkin. Not the hugest pick though in terms of this fight, but it's still hunting. He always has another Dragon Blade. Raucous needs to be careful. Raucous needs to have his Transcendence for this next fight. He cannot die here. He must stay alive. And Flutter now is going to get pushed. Nice work by Linkser. He comes forward. A lot of the Houston Outlaws have been cut down, but Raucous gets his Transcendence after all. And now Linkser kills Munchkin. Headshot there, Transcendence won't save you from that one as a Tracer, nothing you can do. The, tra the Transcendence allows him to bring Jake back into the fight though, right? You use the Transcendence to bring Bonnie up, they get that res off, now you're back at full strength. 
Jake performing well so far in this attacking tracer, man. It's been good. Outlaws, the timing is decent for a big trans here. Although Cormac could really use some of that healing right now. He's being pocketed. Now has to go for the self-destruct. Jake drops a bomb. Kuki's down. Flatter also being removed. And Toby <laughs> tries to go for the res. He does bring Kuki back, but he has to give his life up in the process. Kuki's going to try and put some pressure on Linkster, but needs to get back to the payload. <laughs> Jake will take Kuki out yet again. Got him with a pulse bomb the first time. Then took out Fleta. This is good. Look at this back. Look at this back spawn. Yeah. Brutal for him. Fleta takes 80 damage from a body shot. And now he's looking for more. He hasn't got Linkster yet, though. And Cormat in the meantime gets a big DC on Zumba. Linkster, patient as ever, waits for the reflect to finish. Oh, Fleta! You've met your better! Linkster connects. Headshot. And Rujay Hong finally chimes in to respond. They have to use their blade and they use Primal Rage to go all the way to try and get Linkser in the back. It doesn't even work. Rockus goes back there with Transcendence. Then it's Bonnie, the Valkyrie, able to keep some players alive. Jake, just working around the point. You see this guy very twitchy, very flicky. Hard to watch sometimes. You can see his mind's working 100 miles an hour to try and come up with the right solution. And Linkser's got two again. He just gets Flatter and Munchkin, puts them all in his backpack. It says, come on, Outlaws, we're going for a ride. Now Zumba challenges, just the one at a time. Now it's Soul Dynasty in full storm mode. The heads are rolling, and Linkster is delivering. We're in overtime. The Outlaws do need to get this down, and they do! Unbelievable Widowmaker for full fury in a kill nonetheless. You do get a res on the cool mat. You see the pressure they're putting on Linkster. They finally deal with him up on that high ground. Amuma did force out that transcendence, though, with that primal rage. And Whoa, Jake. Jake, it looked like he was looking up behind him. Maybe he thought he was near the health pack there, as now he's going to get his recall. Okay, I've got motion sickness. Oh, that's too much. Muma jumps in and finds Jay Hong, though. So Jake combines, but in doing so, they give up the point. They will win the fight here for the time being. We're going to have to back away because the Soul Dynasty spawn. Well, he does. He gets down there with a bubble. Jake there. He's actually getting a pocketed. Jake's on the point. This isn't terrible at all. Dragon Blade for Fletter in case they get a little bit frustrated. If he forces Dragon Blade out of Fletter, that's big right now for the Outlaws. Maze him. Oh, this is going to be a bit of fun. Fletter trying to jump around, but he's getting frozen solid. It's a Genji's call. That's not a word. But Felix is going to use his ice block. Genji Sickle? Nah. Yeah, Muma's trying to get Flutter out of this fight. He's going to do it. The issue is, is the rest of his team struggling on the payload, has to get back. Yeah, he's getting tight. Cool, Matt, trying to stick close to the payload. Jake recalls Lynx is low on HP. Self-destruct, though. That could be the answer. Going to force positioning out of Zumba. Toby's also there. Three seconds left. This might have gone against Soul Dynasty. They had an opportunity, but they might have just blown it over time. They won't get back to the point. And Houston will take the series. What a turnaround. Wow. They go seconds from almost throwing it away. Losing two players to the self.
check out our website at actionesports.com to stay up to date on the latest matches, highlights, and more from scores, match history, and specific game info, we've got you covered for all things Overwatch Esports. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action-packed content. Also, like and share this video, and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.